Um, all right, so help me understand what specifically you're looking for. Um, so there's the finance tool, which you guys have access to. Um, so you can just type in your chart field here uh, or one of your um, three or four that you guys have. Um, you'll be able to see balance, donation history. So there's like all the transactions here for the entire year. You can see your specific donations and who's giving. You can compare it to your budget. Um, compare it to your budget with the graph. Um, and then there's reports. So the transaction report right here will be all the donations and all of the um, uh, expenses. Uh, this will be just specifically expenses. And this is just specifically your donations. Um, so your transaction report, I think, is the the most helpful because it's it's this plus this, um, and you can download here. Sometimes this turns off, but sometimes you can just turn it into a Google Doc right away. Um, and uh, other times you just have to download it into like an Excel document and upload it to Google Drive or however you guys want to manipulate that. Um, because what you can do is just pull your transactions. So um, something that I normally do when I'm doing budgeting stuff um, is I'll switch this to 100, and I'll just throughout the year I will be copying and pasting transactions into my budget. Um, so, um, oh, here. So like this is our CXT budget for the year. Um, and all of these spent numbers right here are populated by this tab over here. Uh, these are just copied and pasted transactions from My Athletes in Action, and I just assign what part of the budget they belong to. Um, so if that's easier for you, I can give you guys one of those templates there. Um, but also the, the reports, um, so you don't have to copy and paste, but you can put all the transactions from multiple chart fields into the same Google Doc as you guys sort what's what's uh, up from down kind of a thing. Um, let me know if you need a different report than this, but this should have everything right here.